Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. Ryan Engelstad here, the Dome, Minnesota, and CJ Nerf uh, channel. If you haven't watched any of his stuff, uh, go check him out. Has been uh, talking about doing paracord wraps on uh, Nerf blasters, and this is something that I've been doing for quite a long time, especially on uh, Sweet Revenge. I love using the Sweet Revenge. It is a very lovely blaster, but the handle is very smooth. And then when you go to prime it, trying to keep a grip on the handle while you're bringing your thumb up to uh, activate it. Putting paracord on is one of the things that I do to keep, gives you more purchase on your blaster. And when you're in a hurry, um, you want to be able to grab, let's see, your blaster and, you know, not have it slip out of your hands. So uh, this is something you can do with any blaster. Um, if you think paracord's expensive, it is not. I think I went to Walmart today or yesterday, and you can get 50 feet for like $4.50. Now there's different grades of paracord. There's uh, the more synthetic, and there's some that has cotton. I think the cotton is uh, more expensive, and you get into more elaborate uh, designs on your paracord, it gets more expensive. Um... And there's reflective paracord, and there's bungee cord, um, elastic cord. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, kinds of paracord you can do it with. And there's all different kinds of patterns you can do. Now, when I put mine on, I make it with this seam on it. And I put the seam on the side where my hand would fall. But even if I was grabbing it this way, the seam is right in where your hand, you know, your fingers meet your hand. So it really isn't that com uncomfortable this way either, but I always do it like this. So then when you're dual wielding them, which of course is one of the fun things to do with the hammer prime blasters, is you have the seam on the inside of both of those. And so um, the way to do it, um, now this is a paracord kit I've thrifted. Several like this. Uh, Walmart sold these, and I also have a bin full of these because they were clearing thing, them out. I've gotten several for a dollar and a half. I got several for a dollar. And what it is, is several pieces of six foot paracord. So um, it's just a neat kit to have a variety of cord. And it's very simple to do when you're putting it on. Let's see. I on the can yep. Is you. Make a loop, wrap it around your blaster, come back under, pull it all the way through, and you tighten it as you go, and you go back the opposite way, and you go under, and through, and you tighten it again, and you make a loop, and you go around, and you can, you know, as you see, you work your way down the handle, and, of course, with par uh, paracord, you can make it any length you want. All you do is just, when you're done, you cut it and burn the ends so they don't fray. And um, then you have a lovely accent. And there's hundreds of colors of paracord. Uh, paracord Galaxy, Paracord Planet, Paracord... I'm sure Amazon has it. I'm sure Walmart.com has it. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's many places to find paracord online or in your local uh, stores. I know even here the hardware stores sell it um, to have. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there you go. And that's how you make your seam. And then when you're done, you feed it through the loop you started with at the beginning. Uh, and then you pull it through on top. And you don't have to pull it all the way through, but even just halfway through, locks it in position. Now, if you're playing a game of, say, HVZ or something, and all of a sudden you need a piece of rope to, for whatever the reason is for a mission, you know, it wouldn't take the end of the, you know, for very long at all to undo what you did and then have a six foot piece of rope.
very strong paracord to uh, use for the uh, mission. So, um, yeah. This is, like I said, something we've been doing for a while. And it's easy to do. If you're going to modify your blaster, of course, do it before you do this. Because uh, once you wrap it, you can't... You have to unwrap it to put the, undo the screws and replace your spring and do what you're going to do. So if you're going to upgrade your spring, which we did with our Nerf Turf spring, uh, you do it ahead of time. So, yeah, you make your loop that goes down, you go around the handle... Back underneath and through and then you always want to make sure that you tighten oh but don't over tighten see if you do it in real time you can show your mistakes so you don't want to make a mistake early because it'll bite you towards the end of your project so and the first one sometimes looks a little bit uglier than what you intend. So then you go back around now this should make it so we can get it in position and then the rest of it goes a lot smoother. Then back around so um, a hammer shot handle sometimes I've found is already thick enough that you don't want to always uh, wrap something and make it much bigger. Um, but of course, you know, do what you do what you want. That's the fun of modifying these uh, Nerf blasters. And. I don't think I'll go all the way through, but you can use this technique for other things. Um, see if I can reach my brute here. I did the same technique on the uh, back of my brute, so you can see my seam. I did the exact same thing and put a carabiner on it. So, and the same thing on the front, but I didn't, it was, you gotta try to avoid the magwell on here. Um, but this way I got uh, sling points, uh, removable sling points. I mean, this is, again, completely reversible. And then just a little bit with the scrap left over, just to give a little bit extra purchase on the little handle. So, uh, the other thing I was thinking of trying to demonstrate was... Uh, do the same thing for an Apollo, uh, put another sling point on the back of an Apollo, but you, you can see here, this would be the exact same thing, is just uh, paracord on a carabiner. So the sky is the limit. Uh, it is a cheap investment to uh, experiment with. Um, it's usually in the hardware section or the arts and crafts section. You can find a bundle of paracord and like I said for five dollars probably you'll get enough for several projects and uh, it, you know once you start you can just start investigating there's millions of videos on YouTube with paracord in the title I'm sure there's even you know just uh, pictures and whatnot as well as far as uh, projects you can do uh, with scouts we have several books on uh, what you can do with paracord as far as uh, hiking applications and wrapping uh, water bottles and things to make them uh, more convenient to pack when you're uh, hiking. So, yeah, like I said, there's several grades. Don't start with the most expensive. Start with something cheap and uh, go from there. And you will know, give you... A little fun, gives you a little bit something custom on your blaster. You go to a big event 
and uh, you put something down and can't find it, you'll know how to identify it by uh, saying, oh, it's the, the cut down law bringer with the orange on the handle. And there you go. So hope that uh, this, you found this helpful. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys are doing this as well. Let me know what you've used Paracord for. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.